É galera da Band, mais uma viagem ao redor do mundo. E desta vez estamos numa cidade com símbolos tão significativos que basta olhar para a cabine telefônica para você descobrir que estamos em Londres. Então bem-vindos e com licença que eu vou dar uma ligadinha. Até mais! E aqui atrás outro símbolo da Inglaterra, o Big Bang, que a propósito não chama Big Bang. Esse grande relógio aí chama Clock Tower, ou relógio da torre. Big Bang é o sino que toca dentro a cada uma hora. E falando em símbolos, naquele nosso telefonema na cabine, marcamos a entrevista com um símbolo inglês. Ele é formoso, atlético, e daqui a pouco você vai descobrir quem é. Ah, eu sei, eu sei, desde Beckham. Se você pensou em David Beckham e Hoffa, nós viemos entrevistar Ron Atkinson, ou melhor, o Mr. Bean, o comediante mais famoso da Terra da Rainha. Yeah, hello, Mr. Bean. <laughs> oh, he's lovely. If I was gay, I would marry him. <laughs> Nós estamos no Dorchester Hotel, um dos hotéis mais chiques aqui de Londres, para entrevistar o Mr. Bean. Tem vários jornalistas aqui, ó, todo mundo esperando, na boa vida, com comidinha, bebidinha, para fazer entrevista. E cada um tem seis minutos, por isso, ó, o ideal é escrever o que vai falar, para aproveitar certinho o tempo. Eu espero não me decepcionar, porque ele é um ator cómico, mas eu acho que na vida real deve ser um bocadinho mais antipático, espero que não. Chegou a hora, tô na porta do quarto do Mr. Bean pra entrevistá-lo, ó. E trouxe uma camisa pra ele de presente, um time de futebol muito famoso no Brasil. Vocês vão ver só. Vamos lá, é agora. Do you support any soccer team? No. No, I think I'm gonna say no, because I'm nervous about saying what soccer team I might have have, have a sympathy towards. But, but, but no, I don't, actually. I'm open to offers. Now you're gonna have a soccer team. Very good. That's, it's Capivariano that's what I need. from Brazil. It's right. the greatest team from Capivari City in São okay, Paulo. Okay, very it's good. Great. It's yours. Well, thank you. Well, well, thank you very Number much. Number 10. It's my souvenir. Yeah. It's, it's my souvenir. Well, now I've got a soccer team to support. Yeah, for sure. I hope they're worth supporting. Are they good? Yeah, it's a great team. Are they the good? The best team of the city. Right, right, very good. Well, well, in well, that well. case, I will support them with all my heart and all my devotion. Th thank you very much indeed. Okay. Great. You ride a bike in your show. We already saw. You're playing golf. Fighting judo. Are you yes. a sportsman? Uh, no, I'm not at all. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm hopeless. I always have been. I, at school, I was always hopeless at all games. I think actually I had a, I had a psychological objection to, to games. I didn't like the idea of doing, you know, what everyone else was doing. It was the teamwork, the, you know, that I didn't like. <laughs> So funny as Mr. Bean? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, he's not at all. No, no, I'm afraid I, I'm someone who has to become a character in order to be funny. I'm not a funny man, as you're probably gathering from this interview. I'm somebody who, you know, I can act funny, but I am not funny as such. I have to hide behind a mask. Just one big bow, then the throw. Okay, so one, <laughs> one, <laughs> then. You're so loved in Brazil. People love your show in Brazil. Yes, I know. Well, I, I'd like to come to Brazil. I've never been. Uh, I hear that Mr. Bean is very popular in Brazil. Well, that's true or not, I don't know. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm very aware of the country. But I'm, and I'm, but I'm just sorry I haven't been. You know, one day I will try to redress the balance. Ah! 